Okay, so I am using gel paint, all right? Now, the way I do this, you could use gel polish. Now, gel polish, what you would, I would advise you use is a gel polish like Orly, um, because Orly's gel polish is a pure gel polish. It's not a hybrid. So if you were to take that gel polish out and leave it on the palette, you could actually, it gets a little bit thicker, but it won't cure, okay? So the way I do this nail, you'll be able to do this with gel polish. You would be able to do this with gel paint. You could do this, you couldn't do this with polish, I don't think. Uh, well, you could if, well, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't. So, uh, but yeah, you can definitely do it with gel polish, but use a polish that's a pure gel, all right? So, uh, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need some um, isopropyl alcohol, and you're going to need, I'm using gel paint, so I'm using Mystic Nails gel paint, okay. Good, that's that out of the way. Sorry. <laughs> um, this multitasking thing is hard, isn't it? So listen, this is what I've got. So I've already drawn uh, the little dog I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply uh, the black nose. And the reason why we apply the black nose is because we're actually going to use the black that's on that nose to feather outwards. Now it's a monochrome look. I don't want you to do a whole black outline, but because I want it to be quite soft and natural looking, the idea is, is that we're getting a watercolored effect, but the technique of this design or you know the, the technique of this is that we um, are uh, able to do something that's quite easy you know this is actually quite an easy look um, and because of the technique so we're just going to come down this is the inside of his mouth and then what we'll do is we'll just so his out his little snout here so the snout area is actually going to be white so we're just going to come in and we're just going to create the edge so always do the black where your shadow is going to start. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and we're just gonna do a little bit of a crease going on here and here as well. So my shadow or where the gray is gonna start, this is sort of the darkest area around the snout area, isn't it? If you look at a dog under his eyes, that's where this, the shadow will be. Um, we're just going to add some black and then we're going to grab our cleanser which is a little bit blue and we're just going to use the cleanser just like we would if it was water and we're just going to pull out up until the line so again another reason why you have the lines there it helps you know basically it's a case of coloring in once you've sketched your design you just have to color in now I'm going to pull this all the way down and I'm actually going to use this black that's inside his mouth I'm actually going to use that and pull that all the way around as well now if I was you know I could do this I want to make a, a set of these in black and white but you could do these in brown you could do these in any color, to be honest with you. Um, but I figured, I th I did think about this very carefully and I thought to myself, do you know what, Sam? You want to create something that people have at home. And generally, if you've got gel paint, you've pretty much always got a black. Um, everybody has a black. So I'm using the tiniest, tiniest amounts of gel. So the shadow is going to carry on down his body here, all the way down, underneath his chin, you see, because that's where the shadow would be. And then what we'll do is we'll pull that shadow further, further down. And then it's going to also be in between his legs. Yes, all the way down. And whilst we're here, it's going to be here. Now, have you noticed that I haven't actually put it underneath the lamp yet? I love this gel paint. I love gel paint in general. 
We were one of the first people to bring gel paint out. Be creative. Now everybody's got it. So I'm just going to bring this down all the way down. And it's going to just blend out. So we've got like a grey dog, basically. That's all we're trying to create. Um, but if I was to try and do this with paint, it would take me a lot longer. But I'm allowing the uh, the alcohol. And you could do this with um, uh, acetone as well to do the work. And it's just bleeding and blending and moving that gel paint just like it did with the pigment can you see oh gosh i hope that was in shot sorry that would have been frustrating so we're just going to come up here we're going to finish up with his eyes <laughs> i generally opt for pre-recorded because of that because I, you know, I figured if you're going to watch a, a nail art thing, well, I don't know what it is about lives. People do like them. I don't know. I was thinking of doing more, but not not for nail art for 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 art. So I was thinking, oh, he looks so cute. I'm not sure. Whether I've got the time. So, we've got little paws to do, but I am definitely going to cure him beforehand. Just going to make these shadow areas a bit darker. There we go. And then, have you noticed I haven't done the eyes yet? So, we'll do all that afterwards. We just need to make him soft. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want you to try Aqua L and I don't want you to be stuck with the needing it to be perfect to allow the um, uh, Aqua L to, um, I don't know, blend and move and hold on, let me just go back. It's under the lamp at the moment. So I, you know, that's the whole point of trying this is, is working with watercolor and, and the effects that watercolor can can have. Now this isn't watercolor. This is using um, acetone or uh, alcohol to create a similar effect. But there is one main rule, and that is that you need to allow it to happen. Now, if you want to do fine, detailed artwork, it might not be the right thing, and you've got to choose the right application method for the right job. But what's really cool with watercolour is that you can do fine detail work like that as well. Um, so there is options there, you know. Right, so he's been cured. Let me just grab some more of this paint over here. So I'm using tiny, tiny little bits. Now I'm going to come in and just going to go, just do, he's going to have a, a black tail. So we're just going to create more of a, a total black tail. There we go. And we're going to do the eyes. Now he's looking up because there is a little, there is a little fly. Which we're also going to do. in aquarelle because the wings of a fly is perfect <laughs> um, to get that sort of semi-transparent effect I just do his eyes are give him a little bit of a expression Okay, there we go. It's a bit annoyed. It's a bit annoyed by the fly. Awesome. Okay, so the way that we deal with the fly is the same way we've done all the others. Is we're going to do the little black body. Okay, get rid of the paint on our brush. 
and then we're just going to bleed out from that body the wings. There you go. It's that simple. Look at that. So what we're going to do is collar. <laughs> okay, so let's pop a little blue collar around. He's going to have a little loose collar. There we go. Awesome. And I've realised I forgot to do is pause. Should we give him some little black paws? Some bigger ones at the back there. There we go. Look at that. I'm just going to come in. I'm not going to take too much longer to do this, but if I was doing this, I possibly would go in with another coat, like here in between his legs, just to give him a little bit more definition. Oh, just a second. There's a trick with matte top coat. If you have a top coat that's quite cloudy, it gets rid of all of the detail. But if you have a top coat that's nearly transparent, um, which is, this is a matte top coat, um, you'll actually find that the um, detail stays, the, the detail on your nail art stays. Look at the difference. You see the difference? So it's really, there's almost, you can, well, you can probably see it better in the bottle there as opposed to there. So um, it, seriously, guys, it's made for uh, nail art. And of course, you're um, not going to smudge or rub your nail art off when you wipe it and you've lost some of your nail art. He's done. Okay, this is it. This has been our live today. This one we did in gel, so we used the watercolour technique and you can see I used the same technique. So this one was actually in watercolour, this one was in gel, this one was in pigment.